I bet you must have not known about these psychological effects and I was so surprised to understand that these things go on affects us to such an extent that our decisions change because of all this and so today's video would be about six psychological effects that affect us affect our decisions they are so funny and amazing at the same time so without further ado let's begin have you gone in a place which has people around it there is a crowd and you felt really conscious because there is something that is the spotlight effect which comes into play when we are in social situations where it makes us overestimate what people think about us what opinions and what uh, behaviors people have about us that is exaggerated it strongly affects your thinking and decision making because if you are surrounded by people the kind of decision you make may differ from the one which you may make when you are alone and it's important to understand that because we need to make good decisions when people wear certain clothing they feel it is embarrassing it may just be an opinion of how you may be perceived by others others may not understand at all or they may not care at all okay this has happened with me also something uh, regarding my clothing i feel i get conscious but usually people don't care and it's same with me i don't even remember what other people are wearing and what they are doing after a certain point of time when you buy stuff of a certain brand which is expensive or something of that sort that thing could be of use but sometimes it also could mean that you are overestimating what other people would think of you if there are any kind of group discussions as a part of work culture or anything feel that others have more memory of whatever negative they have said when in actual fact so how do you work around and try to reduce this spotlight effect so you are more calm and centered around yourself first step of this could be awareness the fact that you are overestimating just knowing that calms you down just knowing that helps you become aware that what you think may not be always true if you are in doubt you can just put yourself in the shoe of the other person see how much do you care about what people do or what people say with their own life one technique could be to put yourself out of that situation and see as a third person does this thing really even matter does this count towards any kind of progress or any kind of result whether it is be clothing or something you have said say suppose you move into a shop you want to buy a gown for yourself or a shirt for yourself in one shop there are two brands you want to explore more shops so you move out to another shop and there are at least 25 different brands under that shop where you will be more comfortable in making a choice where you will get overwhelmed and what you will think the paradox of choice this law suggests that whenever we are presented with multiple and more number of choices our ability to make decision properly becomes lower as compared to a situation where we are given a less less number of choices it puts you in a state of overwhelm and chaos if i don't check that brand if i buy something else then maybe what i have bought is inferior and what i have left is a superior one if there are only two brands as in the first shop you can understand what is the value and utility but if there are multiple choices it may be difficult to understand what all is there in store this and does not have to be with consumer goods only it can be with any kinds of decision the number of more decisions you have the less it is there are some people called as maximizers they want the best choice not a good choice okay. to understand what is the best choice each choice has to be evaluated if a person has such a mentality and if the choices are more then it could affect in lot of chaos for that person even if i give the example of this channel particularly at the end of this video you will see an end screen i can put several videos but then it becomes difficult for the viewer to understand which one is good 
so mostly what i do is i generally put one video suggestion at the end there is no other call to action there was a famous case of this woman who was on her way home back from office one of the person just stabbed her was stabbing her continuously with knife nobody helped her this woman ended up dying because she could not get help in time even when the help was present so the bystander effect is nothing but it says that when you are in an audience your ability to help the person in distress lowers when somebody is in a crowd the responsibility gets shared and that person may not feel any kind of obligation to help when you are part of an audience you need to behave in a certain way that pressure is constantly there when uh, these 14 witnesses to the murder they were called for their statement they said that they were just they didn't know what was happening and how to react so such kinds of situations can put you in a state of total chaos and confusion simply being aware of this effect helps you understand empathize with what is going on what if you are the person who needs help there is a crowd around you and nobody is coming to help you what you can do is maintain an eye contact take the name of the person if you know the person or point out to the person and single out that person from the crowd instead of asking help generally my neighbor was buying a flat in the same building that we were living she went in for ground floor so our building is ground plus 2 i asked her why did you go for ground floor so she said something that resonates totally with what i am going to say next she said cylinders gas cylinders lpg cylinders uh, we are going to get if it is on ground floor it will be easier for people to get it into the home now this is a interesting piece nobody gets lpg cylinders themselves there are people to carry it to your home at whichever floor it is and that is where this effect called focusing effect comes into where while making decisions you take one of the parameters in consideration instead of looking at things holistically okay. it is generally seen that people make decisions based on what they know and also what is pronounced and distinct in their memory instead of trying to evaluate other choices or other parameters that could be there if there is a problem we already know that the solution is this then we don't go around finding other solutions we just try to match this there could be a better solution there could be a less better solution but we don't check the spectrum we just go by what is there on the plate and what is there in front when it comes to spending habits people often overestimate the effect of money on the happiness more things means more happiness but studies indicate that this may or may not be true one of the parameter could be money but there could be several other parameters which could affect the happiness with respect to mental health family circumstances I recently joined an online workout class. I used to earlier it was on my own that I used to do, but I joined these classes. I've seen a consistent improvement with respect to form, with respect to intensity, stamina, etc. Earlier even 10 push-ups used to be a challenge. Last week's workout we did over 100 push-ups and I was so surprised myself that I was able to do which gets me to this point the pygmalion effect so the pygmalion effect suggest that your performance increases or decreases based on expectations of others higher expectations from you lead to higher performance lower expectations from you lead to lower performance if you try to uh, contrast it where in workplaces where there is harassment or any kind of such situations where it is deemed that you are belittled and it is deemed that you won't do anything your performance may actually decrease because your it affects your self esteem if you pick on positive traits obviously there will be a positive reinforcement 
If you try to belittle others, poke at them continuously, work performance decreases. On Coursera, there is one course called the Science of Happiness or Positive Psychology, something of that sort. Creating a challenge when an employer or anyone creates a challenge and puts everyone on the same frame. People may feel motivated and this could be because of this effect. If you happen to like somebody, then even their largest mistakes seem small. And if you don't have a liking for the person, the smallest mistakes get highlighted and the person gets targeted. Which brings me to this effect called as the pratfall effect. People who are highly competent are found to be more likable and whatever mistakes they make that can go ignored as opposed to somebody if a person is considered competent committing a small mistake usually people find that person more attractive large mistake or how small mistake and how likable it is depends on how it is being perceived and there is no right or wrong in this when you understand these kinds of effects which are present you can actually feel that what you are doing is not out of any kind of impulse or any kind of you know motive it's all rooted in psychology that's it for the day see you till the next video